Hello guys, how is everyone? In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to fix WordPress Visual Editor not working. Is your WordPress Visual Editor not working or missing? There's a common error that occurs in WordPress Editor where the text color is reset to white and the buttons needed to make changes on your editor in WordPress and its content go missing. Unfortunately, there are more than one reason why this might be happening and therefore more possible solutions. Sometimes updating your WordPress to the latest version might solve the problem or updating your team. But sometimes it can take more effort to make it work like finding the plugin that might interfere with WordPress visual editor or some corrupted WordPress core files. So in this video, we're going to show you two simple and three advanced options to fix WordPress editor error. Let's jump right into it. The first simple solution is to clear your browser cache. It's actually very simple. Sometimes just clearing the cache from your browser can solve this issue. To clear cache from your Chrome browser, click on these three dots on the upper right side of your screen and hover over to more tools and click on clear browsing data. Select a time range from the drop down and click clear data button. Now let me show you how to do it in Firefox. So on your Firefox browser, on the upper right corner, click this icon and then click history and click clear recent history. Choose a time range and then click clear now. So that's it for our first simple solution. I'll go ahead and show you the second simple solution. Now our second simple solution to fix WordPress visual editor not working is to deactivate all plugins. In some cases, some teams and plugins installed on your WordPress website may conflict with each other. Since it may not be possible to know the exact plugin that is causing the issue, you should deactivate all plugins. If the missing WordPress visual editor is restored, then reactivate them individually and test the WordPress blog editor to identify the particular one that caused the error. So let's go to your WordPress dashboard and deactivate all plugins. On your WordPress dashboard, on the right hand side of your screen, go to where it says plugins and then click installed plugins. Select all plugins by clicking here. On this drop down, select deactivate and hit apply. Now I'm not going to do that here because I don't actually have this error. All right, so we're done with the two simple solutions. Now we're going to jump to the three advanced solutions to fix WordPress visual editor not working. Let's go ahead and do that. There are other advanced options that may be required to fix the error in WordPress if the simple fixes do not solve the problem. Using any of these methods, you have to make certain changes and modifications to the WordPress files. All right. So the first advanced solution is to replace your tiny MCE folder. And we're going to do this using your FTP account. So if you don't have an FTP account and you want to learn how to do it before you proceed with this solution, the link to learn how to create an FTP account is on the description below. All right. So if you have an FTP account now, let's proceed. So the first thing that we're going to do is to download a corresponding version of WordPress. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to wordpress.org. So by the way, I also put this link on the description below. So kindly check that out. All right, so once you're on this site, click this button. All right, so once you've downloaded this file, let's go ahead and access your WordPress files using FTP client like FileZilla. So I also put the link to download FileZilla on the description below. All right, so let's go to FileZilla. Let's log in. All right, so once you're logged in, on the lower right side of FileZilla, which, which is this box right here, Double click on the path where it says WP dash includes right here. Now look for the folder that says JS, this one, and then look for the folder that says tiny MCE right here. Right click on that and then click delete. Click yes. After deleting that, on the left hand side of FileZilla where you have your computer files, locate uh, your newly downloaded WordPress folder. So I already have it extracted. Click on the WordPress file that you downloaded and look for the path name 
WP includes, right here, look for JS folder, and then locate the tiny MCE folder, right here. Right click on it and click upload. What this will do is replace the folder you deleted on your WordPress file. All right, so we're actually done with the first advanced solution. Now, what you need to do is to try using your WordPress visual editor to see if the issue is fixed. If not, let's proceed to the second advanced solution. Now, our second advanced solution is to modify the wp-config file on your hosting cPanel. Now, if you don't have a cPanel on your web host, you can contact your web hosting provider or read your web host manual to know how to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and log into our cPanel. Once you're logged in, scroll down and look for the file manager. Scroll down and look for the wp-config.php right here. Right click on it and click edit. Now click edit again. Now right under this tag right here, we're going to put a code. So I'm going to put this code on the description below so you can check that out. All right, so let's put the code. So once the code is there, let's go ahead and click Save Changes. All right, so let's click Close. All right, so we're done with the second advanced solution. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the third and last advanced solution. Now the third advanced solution is to install a plugin called the Tiny MCE Advance on your WordPress website. Okay, so let's go to your WordPress website. On your WordPress site, go to Plugins, Add New. Okay, so we're going to search for the plugin Tiny MCE Advance. All right, so it's right here. Click Install and click Activate. All right, so we've successfully installed the Tiny MCE Advance plugin. Now try using your WordPress editor to see if you fix the problem. All right, so this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this video, kindly share it. Also click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our next video. Thank you for watching this tutorial and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.